YouTube. It's Car Addict. <clears throat> I'm going to make this real quick. I'm not even going to edit it. I'm just going to piece this with the next one I'm going to shoot and upload it. Uh, it's basically just real quick going over how to data log with the uh, K-Tuner. All right. All right, so we got the software up. K-Tuner is hooked up right there. Brings this up. And you can go to settings. This is what I have it at. I don't really know where I'd want it, but uh, activation all equal or greater than. So all these have to be met or higher. Uh, RPM, throttle position, manifold pressure, speed. So if you want to do a log from 0 to 60, you're obviously going to have to be at 0 and uh, pretty low RPM. I guess I could set that even lower. But really, uh, if you're, if you're uh, launching at like 3 grand, you won't really see any less than three, so I guess I could raise that. One thing real quick with this map. Uh, I don't even know if I'm right, but it's in millibar, I'm pretty sure. And if you go to millibar to PSI, something like this on Google. Okay, well, um, I'm at sea level, so I'm pretty sure my atmosphere is about 14.7. So... 1,013 millibar, I think, should be zero pounds of boost. If you don't want it to log until, like, three pounds of boost, I think you'd have to go to 17.7. Obviously, if you live in higher elevation, this might have to be lower. I don't really know. But I definitely know that if you don't want it to log until 15 pounds of boost and you put in 1,000, this reading is definitely not 15 pounds of boost in the ECU. So anyways... I have it set, uh, basically, right around, um, like, so basically right below boost, barely manifold vacuum, I think. Uh, you can experiment with, with, experiment with that yourself, but after you set it, you can also set what has to happen. All these have to be less than or equal to for it to deactivate. Okay, so then I'm going to do it in a little backwards order. Uh, so then after you've taken a log, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, come back here, hook it up again, click that again. I don't have any, but it'll show, it'll have them listed here. Click on it, hit download. This, <laughs> I'll have to show on the desk. It says logging. That will change to yellow, and I think it might say waiting or something. But anyways, it'll be yellow. It'll go green when you're done. Now, there's this main section right here. It says rename me. This is where the log will be, and it will look like... Uh, wait, that's save. Here's open. Okay, so it'll look something like this. And then you can click anywhere and see what you want. You can right-click add and remove things to the table. You can zoom in. Oh, I guess, can you? I could have sworn you could. Maybe it is just that I have all these open. What the hell? Maybe it's because I loaded it. That's got to be what it is, because I know you can zoom in and it stretches it uh, so that <clears throat> if you got a lot of info jam-packed in the beginning, you zoom in, it'll stretch it out to look more like this. You can kind of get a better idea of what's going on. After you've done it, this one, save data log. This one exports to CSV, so you can upload it to like a datazap.me or view it in a CS view viewer, uh, whatever. Okay, so that's basically how to use the software. And then on the K tuner part of it, let me close it. Okay, when it's hooked to your car, if you're looking at the gauges, press the screen, it'll come to this. 
onboard logging, uh, enable. And then, I mean, boom, there you go. Uh, so now just go drive it, and when you meet those four parameters, it'll log. When you meet the second set of four, it's going to stop logging. Um, be careful, though, because I changed them to pretty low, and when I got back, I had 84 logs to go through. And some of them were nothing but about two seconds of half throttle. So uh, don't set it too low, or set it to where you want. Go do a couple pulls, hook up your laptop to see if you're getting what you want, or you're getting a lot of crap you don't want. Alright, um, so yeah, thanks for watching that. I will talk to you guys later.